ice day of the Alcas International Cup is the Qatar national team head coach Felix Sanchez who joins myself and Chris here. Felix, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Now then, Thank first you. of all, of course, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, before we get to that, let's talk about the Alcas International <laughs> Cup because you've been sitting up there in the stands watching Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. You're a Barcelona man, of course. What, what did you make of that performance today? No, it was a... Uh... It's a very long time that uh, I follow the tournament. I play this tournament also as a, as a coach in Aspire. So when I have time and today I had a gap, I, I come to, to watch the, the, the last minutes of the game. It's always nice to see, to see this, this tournament. It's, uh, it's a great, uh, great tournament with a top level. So nice to be here. We've talked about it throughout the week. Six years ago, we remember you on that pitch there, pitch five, with Akram Afif and Yusuf Hassan on the team, playing and losing against Aspire International, who were incredible that year. Mm -hmm. Six, only six years ago. Does that seem like longer ago? Yeah, it's a, it's a long time ago, but I remember. I remember we played Liverpool, we played Esperance, we played uh, Aspire International, we played Boca Juniors, we played Liverpool again. So yeah, we, we, we all remember and it was, uh, of course, a big experience for us, for, for the players to, to grow, to play this, this kind of tournaments. It, it was a key for us to, to develop the players and to finally reach uh, the success that we got a few, few days ago. So, based on that, six years ago you had that young team. You came here 12 years ago, so you have been part of this plan for a long, long time. When did you realize, deep down inside, that you had a special group of players and you had a special plan? When did you think this is going to work? I think the, the country, they make a, a plan and uh, it, it, was, it was very well organized. Now we have the, the proof. And I think it, it was the process that it showed us that we were always on the, on the, right, on the right way. I think uh, another key moment is in 2014 when we win the, the Asian Cup, the under 19s. And these players, they were growing, but also not only these ones. We, we make uh, a very, very good and a strong group that we play. Uh, we're preparing for, for months for the, the Asian Cup. And I think we, we, we were able to compete against the strongest teams in, in Asia. So this is a good signal for the country that what it has been done, it was, it was uh, the right thing to do and it's also encouraged the, all, all the players, the young players in Qatar, that they need to, to push hard because with the hard work you can reach uh, great, uh, great objectives. Chris? You know, before the, co uh, before the tournament, the Asian Cup, what did you honestly feel you could expect from the tournament? Yeah. What position did you feel you could achieve? Our, our objective is it was to to show that we can compete against all all the yeah. all the teams in Asia. Yeah. Of course, you can compete and in a knock stage yeah. round you can lose. Yeah, yeah. You can play compete well against Korea and you can lose. Yeah. Hopefully, we did it and we win. But uh, in our preparation, we had um, uh, some some moments that we realized that the, the players were ready. We we play Ecuador and we play a good game and we get a result. We we, we get a good result against Switzerland. Mm, yeah. We beat uh, we, we draw against Iceland. That also is uh, top in the in the world at the moment. Yeah. So this, these were moments that you realize that the team we can do something. Yeah. But of course it was in a friendly games, and then you're gonna face a official competition when. Exactly. Everything you have to deal with it, yeah. but I think the players they, they make one step uh, forward during the competition and they they deal good with in the football wise, but also in all the other things that they need to face and 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 they got the result that, from my point of view, is well deserved for the effort and the football that they play. Was there any stage when you started the tournament where you thought we can win this or? You just take it. All the coaches say game by game. But yeah, was but there yeah. any any part of that but, 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 tournament but where you we think... say game by game? But, but it's true. We need to go game <laughs> oh, by game. Yeah. We cannot start to think when we start the first game. No, but in semi-finals, maybe we're gonna face. But uh, I think there are moments that uh, in the first game uh, it was a very difficult one because yeah. the first one is always yeah. very difficult and the opposition they they are very well organized. A lot of people defending. Yeah. 
when we win this game and especially when we beat Saudi Arabia. Yeah. I think this moment is a, a key where, because we beat a, a very good team, yeah. it's like a derby in the region and we know that it's always difficult to beat Saudi Arabia and in the way that we beat them. I think in this moment, until then we had confidence, the players were confident, but I think this was a, a point that they give us more uh, even more confidence to, to face the next, and, the next game. Uh, and everyone talks about Moez because he got the nine goals and, and strikers mm -hmm. always get the headlines. But, um, I mean, you started with uh, four defenders in the first game against Lebanon, I think. Or did you start with three? Anyhow, the role of Kuki. Mm -hmm. um, he goes back in to make it three mm -hmm. centre-halves. And he was absolutely outstanding. He, what an incredible tournament. And yeah. Did you plan to play with four defenders or three we, central defenders. We, in, in all our preparation, if, if, if you watch our games against Switzerland, also we play with three, with three centre backs. Yeah. We try to have different options that, because depending on the, the game that we are yeah. playing, the opposition, the, the, the strength of yeah. the opposition, we try to, to, to change. It's about the organisation, but our idea is the same. But I think Huji, of course, same than all the other players, because I think honestly yeah. it yeah. was like that. Yeah. He, he was able to play in a different positions and uh, it was very obvious that he, he he was winning all the all the challenge in all the aerial challenge he was a winner and that was very important because we face a lot of moments in the competition against Iraq with the 1-0 they were putting a lot of balls in our box mm -hmm. and obviously Japan and, and Korea we, we try to to finalize in the white situations to defend 1v1 but we know that they're going to be a lot of crosses and he's a specialist in that and yeah. and he was he was outstanding oh. uh, for, for us during yeah. during all the tournament he did great yeah Felix you, you're a young manager still you're Thank only you. 43 <laughs> uh, but you started so young you know mm -hmm. you were in your early 20s coaching mm -hmm. the Barcelona youth mm -hmm. I just wonder how much of what your 10 years you spent at Barcelona it's a long time mm -hmm. even though you're young how much of that has transferred into what you coach here if any I think of course I've been 10 years in Barcelona that was a great times for me uh, you know, in Barcelona there is a particular philosophy of, of football and of course I, I enjoy a lot and I learn a lot. Once I came here I adapt to the philosophy here. The, we, of course we try to, to implement many things, but of course we need to adapt to our, our players, our philosophy, our, our culture and to adapt of course to the opposition that we're going to play and I think at the end of the day, we have our own way. We cannot compare with Barcelona or any other team. I think Qatar, we have our own way to play, not better, not worse than any other one. And I think uh, the, the players, they, they believe and the players, they have the quality. And they show uh, the, in, the, in the last, uh, in, in the Asian Cup, in the seven games, I think they compete very well, playing uh, sometimes in uh, different shapes, as, as, as we mentioned before but always showing that they are able to compete in a different ways against, against all the teams. Uh, now, of course, uh, Xavi is uh, a great ambassador for here. He's a friend of yours as well. Mm -hmm. uh, have you been able to call upon his experience and help bring that to the players? You are the coach. It's your, you know, it's your philosophy mm -hmm. there. But with these kind of people around, you know, that can help. Has he been able to come in and, and, and influence your players? Uh, Xavi, of course, um, he has been with us when he can because he's still playing for Al Sadd and he has his, his, his trainings, his games, so not always can be with us, but always that, that he has the opportunity, he's joining us and of course he's watching all the games and we don't have to forget that uh, we have a lot of players from Al Sadd, the club that he's playing and the influence he has is very, very high because all the players, they, they respect him but not because he's chubby, because he shows his commitment, his attitude, of course, his quality and every detail that he can say to them, of course, they, they take it very, very serious because he's a very important, very important for them. So, of course, uh, Xavi is a, a part of this, of this big success for, uh, in, for the country. Coach, um, obviously, all the players played the part and, you know, you, you have to play <clears throat> All the players have to play well to win a tournament, but you know the likes of Moes who scored nine goals, uh, Akram Afif, all these young players. There's talk of them maybe going to Europe. 
uh, to further their careers. Uh, would you prefer the players to go to Europe to get that experience and play, maybe play at a higher level or stay in the QB Stars League? What would you prefer? This is a, a plan that we need to, to talk about and, and decide. It's a yeah. plan for the country. Uh, sure that whatever is going to be decided is going to be thinking about the best for the players. Yeah. And of course, the best for the players is also the best for the for the national team because it's going to give us the the quality yeah. and the the experience to to keep competing uh, at, at at high level because we need because there are further competitions that are going to be even stronger than the one we play uh, last week. On a psychological point of view, you know, what was different about this tournament? for you and, and that whole group of players? Because it wasn't exactly in the easy, easiest of circumstances, mm -hmm. you know, because of the political unrest between the countries and no fans being there. I remember saying to Chris and Nick, my goodness, if, if Qatar win this uh, game against uh, the UAE in their own backyard without any fans, mm -hmm. you must think we can beat anybody mm -hmm. on our day. Well, I think the players, um, we knew what we we're going to face there, but the players, they show also, not in terms of football on the, on the pitch, also, how mentally strong they, they are and they, they, they manage the, the situation. We face uh, the games, we know that we didn't have too many fans. We need, we need to, to thank the, the people that they come to support us, especially, especially a lot of people from Oman, they were supporting us. And they are professional and they need to be used to, to play without fans from us. And I think they, they deal very good with them, and especially maybe the game against, against UAE, that it was the, the strongest one in, 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 this, in this fact. Uh, I think they, even they were one more motivated even to, to face, to, to win this game, first to reach the final, which it, it could be historic, histo uh, historic for, for Qatar, but also because they know that the people in Qatar, they were following the team and they were uh, very close because we knew, you know, social media, you, you see everything, how the people was uh, with the team. And I think they make one, even one step more forward to, to push, to try to get the result. And it was a very nice experience because to, to win this game in the way that the players did with the... Uh, Home, uh, the, 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 the country who organized the tournament, uh, all the people there pushing, even not in the nicest way. I think uh, we need to recognize that the players mentally they were very strong and they managed the situation. So it's an also another point that we need to be very proud of them. And what about you, coach? I mean, where does your career go from? I know you, you with Qatar at the moment, but you know you started at Barcelona. Remember, we remember you at that pitch over there. You've come a long way in a short time now, mm -hmm. and you've won one of the major tournaments in the world. This is like the Euros, it's like Spain or mm -hmm. England winning the Euros, yeah. is how big this tournament is. Mm -hmm. So you've made it, haven't you? So first, hey? for, for me, it's a, <laughs> it's a great honour to be in this position. I, I have to thank the, the people in Qatar that they, yeah. they trust and they give us the opportunity yeah. to, to be here. So at the moment we are enjoying this, this moment because I think it's... Uh, we were there, but once you arrive here, you realize how important it was yeah. for the country. You see the people, how, how proud they are for yeah. our national team. Yeah. And now for us, it's time to, to enjoy the moment yeah. and, of course, to start to plan for the, for the next one because this has been a, a process. It's not that uh, suddenly we arrive here, we yeah, start. Yeah. It's yeah. a very long time that we are working for it. And in three years' time, there is a... The, the most important competition in the, in the world and Qatar is going to be there and he's going to be here. So we need to, to continue trying to, to help this group of players and, and the country if, if, if needed uh, to keep uh, growing and pushing to arrive in a good so condition. When you talk, you talk about we, the team, uh, Qatar, the nation, well, what about you? What, you, know, you must be so excited about your career as well. Like, I mean, yeah, you've, very, you've very, gone from there to there. Very excited because uh, I saw these players working, how hard they work. Yeah. You, you were talking about six years ago, some of yeah. them. But all of them, they, they have been doing a huge effort to, to, to got this. So, of course, I'm, I'm, I will say the most happiest uh, coach in the world at the yeah. moment because I, I, I see these players 
I, I see day by day how, how, how hard they work. Uh -huh. Very proud of them. So for me, it's uh, an honor to be there close to them. And just thinking about the, the next step that we have to go. Is it, it, sorry, Rob, just no, one last question. Is it easy to manage modern day players? Sorry? To be... Is it easy to be a coach in the modern day game? You know, these players nowadays, you, know, you, you come from Barcelona, yeah. you know, the tackles were a little bit mm. heavier then. It's a different game now. Is it easier to manage these personalities? I think. Uh... Any troubles? There are players, of course, when, when you are t training now, for example, with this uh, month and a half, preparing and playing the Asian Cup, there are very good moments. There are moments that they are not as good as other ones, but yeah. this is normal. Yeah. But finally, everyone, he push and yeah. push real very hard yeah. to, to, to get this, this target. Yeah. And I think these players, they, they show also, they, they, we play, as I said before, teams in in Europe, like Switzerland or, or mm. Iceland and South America, like Ecuador, and and they were on the game. They never, yeah. they never lose the face in the game. Yeah. So they they compete well. So I think they are they are ready to to start to compete against against teams from all all around the world. Can I ask you about just the preparation for the Asian Cup? I mean, in a way, it's an odd question because I don't care what you did because you won the Asian mm -hmm. Cup. But those final preparation games, which were played at the Khalifa Stadium behind closed doors, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a football fan. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why can't I go and see it? What's, the, what's he thinking? Of course, now I don't really care. <laughs> but what was the thinking behind those games, uh, with those games behind closed doors? I think we, we are more than happy to, to, to share with the people uh, our games, but I think in this special moment it was time for us to, to try different things. And for example, we were talking about different organizations in our games, so, so we, take, we took the opportunity to, to practice in these games because it was our times. And nowadays everyone studies the, op the opposition, so also we wouldn't. We, we, we didn't want to, to show to everyone, OK, uh, Qatar have option A, option B. They have this player can play there. Uh, I, I think it was the, the moment to do that. Even we don't like to, to don't, don't share our games with the, with, the, with the people, because I think it's, it's, it's also good for us to have the support, the, the, the fans uh, pushing uh, with us in the games. Now, next step, let's move on. It's Copa America. Myself, Nick and Chris, we've already booked the ticket to Brazil, OK? Oh, we're good. coming. We're coming to cover it. I, I, we've discussed it with Al Cas, but we haven't. But we're going to come. We want to be there. What, what's the thing? What's the philosophy about this now? That's another step. It's putting yourself against another level again, isn't it? I think uh, 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 about Copa America, this is going to be a huge experience for, for, for the players. Why? Because we're going we're gonna to play against national teams that of course, in Asia, they are very strong and Asia is getting stronger and stronger every year. Yeah. But we're going to play against national teams that they, they win World Cups yeah. or they are facing the World Cup with the objective to be in the quarter or in the semi-final or to win. So it's going to be good to play official games in official tournament and it's going to be in Brazil for our players to, to have this experience because in 2022, when they play their first game in the World Cup against we don't know who yet, but they, they know what they're going to face. And I think this is going to be very important. And it's a great opportunity for us to, to get the, the experience. It, it, it's unfair to put pressure on people sometimes, but how, how far do you think you can, how far can this team you've got go? Are you as a unit? Because you're, you know, you're as important as the players. This is a unit. Mm. As you say, 2014, it was you in charge of the under-19. Mm. Same team, really. Mm. Same squad of players, couple of other ones. but primarily the same mm. team group there, there are there are some that they were but I, I think we don't have to talk about this group this group is the group we have now is, is a group and of course there are others that they have the chance to 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 join us because they have the quality or they were injured so it's important how far we don't know we need to to go how how we are doing in the Copa America how we're doing in the next uh, official games and it's three years time uh, we hope that the, the players are going to continue pushing because they, they, they are very motivated and very committed to, to play the, the World Cup. And we don't know, we, we need to see competition after competition, how is the team, and then we will realize how far we can, we can reach, hopefully. 
uh, we did excellent in the tournament, but the good thing from our point of view is that even we play at a high level, we still can see that we can even improve because of the age of the, the team. We are a very young team and still three years time we can, we can still get better in our weaknesses and, and get more experience with, with games or competitions like the, the Copa America. A word on Aspire Academy. You've been at Barcelona. You've seen the youth coming through there, the system there. We see them here. That is what the Alcas International mm -hmm. Tournament is all about. For years, the likes of Ajax Academy has produced so many. Real Madrid, uh, Benfica is another academy. Mm -hmm. How far away, if it's already there, is Aspire Academy? Or can Aspire Academy be a leading light, a, a beacon there for the development of youth players on par with those other academies I mentioned? Well, we, we cannot compare academies, but I think what Aspire Academy uh, and the country did for the youth development, it, it was it, it was amazing. It's, it's an uni unique program, I think, from my point of view. And to have players that they went through all the process in the Aspire Academy and now they were able to to be part of the of the team that they win the Asian Cup, it shows that there are a lot a lot of good things that have been done in Aspire Academy and I think it should be a reference for I'm not going to say all the world I don't I, I, I don't want to be um, we have to be humble but a lot sure a lot of good things have been done in in, uh, in everything is happening in, in the academy and in the country because this is a, a, pro, a plan from from the country so uh, I think has to be like a, a model for many many academies maybe in the world. Oh, so we really appreciate you taking time to speak to us and coming in. It's, it's a great honor and a great pleasure to have you here. And, and what's great for myself, Chris and Nick, and, you know, you. in so a few so years' nice. time, we'll be saying, look at him, he's just won the World Cup and now he's at Barcelona. <laughs> Do you know what? Back Why in not? 2019, he was sitting in here. Me, Nick and Chris will still be here. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you very much. It's been fantastic. And now we've got, goodness me, we've got a match now. I know. We've got uh, Altin Altin Ordu FK, who are another big mm. academy club mm. in Turkey. <clears throat> and they're up against Spartak Moscow. Mm. Uh, who also have, have uh, very strong uh, academy and, and mm. strong players coming through. Sure. So, uh, are you keeping an eye on this game? Who do you fancy for I, this I, game? I will try to watch some, but we're at, the, at the moment we have been very busy. <laughs> but, of course, watching some games in, in TV, now watching this one here, sure, I, I, we will we'll be here to watch some other games in the, mm. in the competition. And do you get time to relax? Do you, do you watch Barcelona a little bit now? You know, when you get... I will try to watch. I, I was very, we were very focused in Asian football at the, yeah. until now, which is normal. Yeah, but you still, you still follow Barcelona as a yeah, person? I follow, I follow uh, Spanish League, I, Champions League, Premier League. <laughs> We follow all, all, all football, you know, we are people from, from football and we enjoy watching uh, the top teams in the if world. If we need another interview, we'll find you at La Liga, the bar, what's that? The <laughs> La Liga down the La Liga Corniche. Lounge, the La Liga <laughs> Lounge in, in Sheraton Park. Very lovely place, actually. Uh, the first of its, its kind. Um, hang on, what's that? Is that an announcement? The teams are coming out, I think. Uh, Felix Sanchez, thank you very much. Uh, great to have you on, and we wish you all the very best. As I say, Copa America is the next challenge. I'm sure it's one that you will grab with both hands, and the team will enjoy the experience. And who knows? Maybe you can bring another cup back. You know, we might have to build a new cabinet for you to put another trophy in. We'll try to do our best, sure. Great, fantastic. Uh, Chris, just a word for you to finish.